Hi, this is Anne from Design Bundles, and today I'm going to show you how to make an arched ribbon in Adobe Illustrator. All right, let's get started. Okay, I'm an Illustrator, and let's create a new document. So I'll come up here to Create New. Then we'll go to Print up here at the top, and then choose Letter. And then we'll come down here to the bottom right to Create. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is to make a few rectangles on our canvas and they should all be the same height. So I'm going to hit M on my keyboard and get over here to the rectangle tool and I'll click and drag. I want it to be not too skinny, but a skinny rectangle. And then I'll hit D on my keyboard to make it a white fill and a black outline. You can see that right over here, white fill and black outline. Now I need another copy of this rectangle, so I'm going to select it with my uh, V tool or selection tool. I'll copy and paste in front. So that's Command C and Command F or Control C and Control F on a PC. I'm going to click a handle and just drag it over like this. And now I'm going to hold Shift and use my down arrow to move it down just a little bit. And I'll move it in a little bit too with my shift and arrow key. Now I'm going to send this to the back. So we'll come up here to object, arrange, send to back. Okay, so we have the first part of our little ribbon. Let's take this one with our selection tool, copy and paste in front again. That's command F and control F on a PC to paste in front. Then I'll click and drag and put this one about the same place over here. And now I'll select all three. I'll come down here to my align palette. Now, if you don't have any of these palettes up, you can go to window and find them here. Here's the align one right here. And I'm going to distribute these objects right here. This one called horizontal distribute. So they're all equal distance apart. Okay, now I want to add a little triangle right here. Not really a triangle, but I want it to be kind of indented. So I'm going to select this box and this box, and I want to add a couple of anchor points that are right in the middle here. So I'm going to come up here to Object, Path, and Add Anchor Points. Now what this does, it takes every anchor point and adds an anchor point in between those two points exactly halfway. So we had the ones on the corners and now we have all these four in here that are halfway in between those. So I'm going to use my A tool, which is the direct selection, and just select that one little point there and I'll hold shift and use my left arrow to bring it in. If that moves a lot, you don't need to hold shift. Shift makes it move faster. And I'll come over here and select that middle one also, and then hold shift and bring, bring it in with the arrow key. Okay, so we're getting pretty close now. Now we just need a triangle right in here. So I'm going to zoom in by hitting Z on my keyboard and drawing a box around the part I want to see. And then I'll hit P to get my pen tool, which is right over here. Now I'm going to get close to this corner until I get a little white dot. And when I do, I'm going to click there. Then I'll come down here to this one until I get a white dot. That means you're right on that point, which is what we want. And then I'll come up here. Now there's no point here because this one continues and this one continues, but we can kind of see exactly where we are. We can also hold shift to make sure that's a straight line. So I'm going to click there and then finish the shape here. Command minus, and we'll do the same thing over here. I'm going to zoom in. I'll hit P on my keyboard to get to my pen tool, and then we'll just click on each one of these areas and then finish the shape. Now you can see we've got some points that go past the edge and that's because we have a stroke and not a fill. And we're going to change that anyway, so I'm not going to worry about those. I'm going to command minus or control minus on a PC to zoom out. And then I think we're going to make this orange. So I'll need three different colors of orange. Uh, first I'm going to select just this top rectangle and we'll come over here to the color palette. And I'm going to choose kind of a, 
I think I want a little bit brighter orange than that. So I'll come over here and double click it. We'll come right over here. Maybe move it towards the yellow area a little bit. Okay, this looks pretty good, so I'll say okay. And then I'll grab this shape and this shape, holding shift and using my selection tool. And then I'm going to use my eyedropper tool, which is I on your keyboard. It's also right over here. And just click on this orange. Now, I always like to do this to start off with the color that already exists, but then I like to change it. So I'm going to double click and make this just a little bit darker. We'll say OK. Well, maybe not that dark. Come down here. Yeah. And then I'm going to take these little triangles, click on them holding shift, and I'm going to use my eyedropper, the eye tool, and click on this. And I'll double click this and get an even darker shape. Okay, so we have our three colors and we have our three shapes. Now I don't actually want a black outline on these, so I'm going to select all with my selection tool. Hit X to bring the stroke to the front and then clear it with the question mark key or the backslash key there on the same button. Okay, so we have our beautiful little ribbon created. And now let's put some text in this. So I'm going to hit T on my keyboard and click once and I'll type design bundles. I'll get back on my selection tool and I'll grab a handle and resize while holding shift. Now I want this to be the font Montserrat. That's a free Google font that you can find out there online. And I'd like it to be Montserrat bold. I think I'm going to make it uppercase. So let's go, let's go to type, change case, and uppercase. I'll resize it a little bit, holding shift. And then I'll move this up into this space. Now I like to keep it away from the edges. I don't want to go right up to that edge. I like to have almost similar space from the top and bottom and then to the right and left. It's not exact right now, but that's okay because this is just a tutorial and honestly, it's best to just pick whatever works for you. Okay, so let's change our color to white on the text. Okay, now we have everything that we need and now we can arch the whole thing at once. So to do that, I'm gonna move that text up a little bit. To do that, I'm going to select everything with my selection tool. And then I'm going to group it with Command-G or Control-G on a PC. So now we have it all grouped and we can move it around as one piece. Then we'll go to Effect, Warp, and Arc. It's the very top one. And now we can see what happens when we change the bend. This is a 50% bend and I think that's a little bit crazy. So let's change it to 23%. 23% is a good round number bend and it looks pretty great. I'll leave the distortion at zero and then we'll say okay. All right, and that's it. We've got our little arched ribbon and this is a great addition to add to a lot of different designs. Okay, if you like this video and you want to see more like it, just hit the subscribe button and the little bell beside it and you'll be notified every time a new video comes out. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.